something inside me has always been there. And I need help. Mike, how are you? I'm good, thanks. You know, I'm doing Press Junkets for 17 years, but today is very special for me because, oh, you know... Well, that's very kind of yeah, you to yeah, say. Yeah. It's, it's, we, we, never, we met in, you know, some fun events, but never oh, actually yeah? interviews. Okay. Well, well, my son's visited Peru. Yeah. Griffin. Uh -huh. He wanted to go on his own, and I would love to go to South America someday, but I haven't been yet. And how was the experience for him? He loved it, and he sent all sorts of pictures. Uh -huh. and, you know, uh, it's a uh, you know, fantastic culture to explore. And uh, like I say, I was, I admired the fact that he took it on his own initiative. Yeah. He went to Brazil. Uh -huh. My sister-in-law's from Brazil, so that makes sense. But Peru was special for him. In your experience through the whole saga from the late 70s until now, how do you feel the, the evolution of filmmaking, of technology, how, how it changed? Well, you know, it's stunning to see how CGI uh, came to the forefront in the prequels. Mm. The only real innovation I think we had on the original films was the computer controlled camera moves mm. so that you could achieve the assault on the Death Star. People had never seen that kind of thing before. But as you, as you know, it's, uh, the technology improves every day. By the time they got to the prequels, I mean, it was just amazing. The mm. vast canvas and everything's moving and there's 5,000 ships going outside the, the apartment of, the, of, of uh, uh, Natalie Portman. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think the pendulum swings. I think the desire of the first generation of fans who became filmmakers, J.J. Abrams and then Ryan, is to go back and try and get that sense of uh, practical, yeah. practical effects. Some people prefer the actual puppet Yoda to the CGI Yoda. It's a matter of taste. Mm. I think really young ones look at the original Star Wars and it looks archaic to them. It looks. <laughs> You know, they say, why does it look so old-fashioned? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, the, 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 the prequels are just, you know, pinwheels and fireworks and mm -hmm. all that. Uh, one thing that would amaze me on The, on the Last Jedi was how yeah, many uh, creatures were practical. The porgs, for instance. Yeah. They, they have tubes running out them and people working their, their eyes and their mouth and their and arms. And they're like this big, yeah, so yeah. very complex. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, and even the big creatures, mm -hmm. they, they really made an effort to try and do old school uh, effects rather than just say, look at a piece of tape and we'll, we'll put it in later. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. But something we, we really love about your personality and, and you're attached to to the movie history through the Star Wars is that you're always present in all the fun events. You're always there. Yeah, yeah. It's like we feel, you know, this amazing movie through you in, in some way. So how was your, your experience with the fans every single day, every single convention? Well, that's it. I mean, because on in my everyday life, uh -huh. I don't really encounter that kind of passion. Yeah. And so when you see it up close and personal, you, you're reminded, oh my gosh, this thing really had a deep impact on their lives. Mm -hmm. And they tell you stories, personal stories of, you know, coping with illness or terminally ill children or meeting their future wife or husband. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's so ingrained in their, in their lives. I am a true geek myself. Yeah, me too. I would have gone to these conventions. I mean, I did go to comic book conventions before I ever did Star Wars. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not so easy anymore because you can't walk <laughs> around with uh, people telling you to sign this and sign that, but uh, I, they, I think they recognize I'm one of them. I'm not faking it. My enthusiasm is as genuine as theirs. And, and you know, they, they feel like, oh good, one of our own yeah, yeah. Is, is in it. That's and also nice. as an actor, you get the amazing opportunity in, when you are young and, and studying in this, working with iconic people like Peter Cushing uh -huh. or, or Sir, Sir Alec Guinness. Yeah. Uh, how was that experience? Well, it was frustrating with Sir Alec because I always want to talk about the lady killers and <laughs> Lavender Hill Mob and the man in the white suit. No, 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 I want to talk about your career. I said, what are you talking about? A soap opera and a dog food commercial? Come on. Uh, and Cushing. I mean, first of all, in the days before the internet, he was shocked that I knew that he was in A Chump at Oxford, yeah. that Laurel and Hardy film. Uh -huh. He was in his early 20s. Wow. You know, how did you know? 
I said, well, I'm a huge Laurel and Hardy fan, and you know, I've read books about it, and I couldn't believe. I said, the Peter Cushing from all the Hammer films was in. I was trying to do the math, how old he was. I said, why didn't you stay? He also did off camera for the Man in the Iron Mask. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so that Leslie Howard would do his part, and Cushing would read off camera, and then they'd switch parts, and then Peter would be cut out. Wow. See, so to play twins. Uh -huh. He said that was the perfect entry into filmmaking because there was no pressure. I could learn techniques, how to find my lights, how to hit my marks, knowing that I would be taken out later. <laughs> I said, why didn't you, like a lot of English expatriates, stay here after you got here? But the World War II intervened, mm. and he's such a patriot, he went back to you know be a part of the war effort in England. Fantastic people. I'm so lucky to have not only met with him. I mean, in the case of Peter, I didn't get to work with him, but I went when he was on set so I could visit with him. But I mean, an amazing experience. And I got the pleasure to talk to you and be thank part you. of this. And please come to Peru anytime. I would love that. And uh, Mark, thank you. And My be pleasure. Week with you. As, as with <laughs> you. Pleasure. Thanks so well, much. I need someone to show me my place in all this.